guys welcome again to my channel I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel and thank you my returning subscribers for always watching my videos you are doing great whatever you do just remember life is beautiful so because of the lockdown we've had a lot of house parties and I've attended quite a few and uh, I noticed a few issues I felt I should address today so in this video I'm gonna talk about that okay I, I thought I should do this because how you carry yourself around people is uh, really important you never know who you are meeting at a party okay as we make merry in parties we are meeting new friends we are catching up with other friends you could be meeting your next boss in at a party or uh, your ne your spouse your next girlfriend okay you never know who you're meeting at a party so i think how you carry yourself at an event or a party is quite important so i'm going to address five issues that I really felt touched me and uh, should be addressed so for example food we all love food I love food too and uh, I noticed we have a problem in how we even serve our food you're at a party there's a buffet there's all this kinds of food and you find someone serving like a, every bit of food in one place you're having your fruits you're having stew you're having fried stuff you're having your rice your ugali all in one plate so the plate is so full you cannot even hold it when it tails a bit the soup is pouring and when you do I think we should really look into that. Someone seeing you sees a very cheap person, a greedy person, a glutton. So that is one issue I wanted to address. And then the, about food still there was something else I noticed, especially with the women. You've attended a party, you've had a great time, there's lots of food, people are eating, others are still coming in, other guests still coming in. And you see guys with the file papers, food tins, just packing food away, stuffing into bags. I thought that was really low, or really cheap of uh, whoever does those things. Issue number two I'd like to address is eating habits, how you eat. There are all these people seated at the table and there are guys who kind of, kind of get this temporary insanity when it gets to food especially when there's so much food and that so your appetite is so high that you forget there are other people around you you're slapping your food and you don't even notice it and now you, everyone is looking at you like you're making funny sounds and eating food dropping from your mouth it's really not right so i think how you eat your food at a place is really really important as i said you don't know who you are meeting so let's look into that issue number three if your host invites you to a party there are specific things they have requested you to do at their party for instance you receive your invitation card with uh, requiring a particular kind of uh, dress code 
and then you choose to ignore their wishes i think it, it, it's 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 uh, kind of rude imagine a white party or a red party then you show up in a different color or they said african and you show up in something else i think it is really important to adhere to the dress code that is if your host requests for a dress code kindly adhere to that it's important for them it is their day they know why they did that so obey that respect your host respect their wishes the next thing i'm going to talk about is uh, pda that is public display of affection i'm not saying you don't love one another i'm not saying you don't show love i'm not saying you don't kiss but You've attended a party with uh, your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. And there are all these people here. There are many people at a party. And you want to get so cozy. And it, it leaves others feeling really uncomfortable. Imagine you are single or you are just seated at a party. And uh, there are these guys who are just all over each other. Cuddling and it gets quite uncomfortable for others so if you have to do it don't make it so intense that makes others uncomfortable the last thing i want to talk about is uh, theft mostly at house parties you for someone to invite you to their house means there's some level of trust they have in you and uh, there are things they don't expect you to do. So the most common thing I see people stealing at parties is, other than food, is alcohol, or clothes, or books. Why, why should you do that? I trusted you with my house, invited you, gave you food, you've had fun. Why do you steal from your host? I think it uh, feels really cheap when you're caught with an item stolen from your host's house and uh, it's not really interesting so guys that's just the, the few issues i wanted to address if you have more you can add in the comment section i know there are a lot of things people do at parties that get us really pissed off let me know what pieces you offer a party. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.